Rain held up the start of the T20 match between South Wilts and Hampshire Second Eleven, but thankfully the effervescent Henry Blofeld from BBC Radio 4's Test Match Special was on hand to entertain the 120 guests in a manner only he can achieve. I said, Bill, tell me, what do you do with yourself these days? He thought for a moment, he said, nothing, he said, and I don't start to do that until after lunch. <laughs> Eventually, after a two-hour delay, the game began, and with South Wilts skipper Tom Morton winning the toss and electing to field, they were almost rewarded with a breakthrough in the second over. However, the next over did see the first Hampshire wicket to fall. And by the end of the fifth over, Hampshire had moved on to 36 for one. This was just the calm before the storm, however, as promising teenager Jake George upped the ante on the South Wilts bowlers with a number of brutal sixes. This theme continued as George, now joined by Rob Gibson, dispatched the ball to all parts, and it wasn't long before a nearby greenhouse was given an unwanted makeover. After George had fallen for a well-made 65, Hampshire lost another two wickets cheaply as South Wilts pegged them back to 143 for six but by the time Gibson had finished bludgeoning his way through the final over, Hampshire had posted an imposing 171 for six from their 20 overs. To say that South Wilts' reply started badly would be an understatement. Openers Morton and James Hayward both fell cheaply to leave them on six for two with three overs. More soft dismissals followed as South Wilts' top order was left in tatters at 20 for five. Enter Rob Franklin, who took the innings by the scruff of the neck and smashed not only the bowling, but also the rear windscreen of one of his teammates. He did, though, make his way to a thoroughly deserved 50. Ultimately, South Wilts fell 81 runs short of their target, and after the game, I asked skipper Tom Morton about his thoughts on the day. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Very, very well organised. Uh, there's a small group of people which did most of the organising today, led by James Hayward first team captain and yeah, he did a great job, been a really successful day. Obviously with the new clubhouse just being opened it's rejuvenated the club and a lot of people are coming down in that weren't before so that's great.